know what I just said? You're not going to rewar get rewarded for healing people. Not get rewarded for preaching to all of them. Because unless the Spirit sets you free, you're not free. So what do you think you're going to get rewarded for? Your private life. How you consecrated what God set apart. How you lived and walked with this God, sharing every moment of your life with Him. How many fruits of humility, of tenderness, of compassion. How you looked after your wife. Do you know looking after your wife is the number one thing which God will grade men on? Because that is a direct resemblance of him and the church. Direct. So if you treat your wife badly and ever stand for ministry, you can be sure you'll get one anda in heaven. What you'll get? Nice boiled egg. He says, sit in that corner and for the rest of eternity, you will be serving her now. Because the wife is supposed to be the church. And if you don't take care of what God gave you, then God said no ministry for you. No? That means we have to be so patient with our wives because God was patient with you. Can I tell you lies? And then when his reward comes and you stand there because you went and spoke to so many people and he says, sit there. And he says, I don't care about your ministry. What I gave you, how did you take care of it? Did I, am I making myself very clear? And the more you look after the bride, God will send you more ministry. Hmm? Because I'm amazed how patient God is with me. Are you not men? Are you not blessed how patient God is with us? So can't we be patient with our wives? Huh? They were not created to be like you. They are not even supposed to have your strengths. They are supposed to have every weakness which you have a strength for. So stop telling them that they, you can't do things. Because they are not here to do what you are supposed to do. They are here to do what you cannot do. And help you where you cannot reach. Oh.